Hi, this is James Hahn with Real Life Rosary, and this is a daily meditation for real life. Back in the 1800s, there was a young boy by the name of Matthew, who, just like his father and his grandfather before him, was an alcoholic. He began drinking very young at the age of 12. His dad hated to see this, and he would oftentimes beat him to try to get him to stop, but to no avail. Matthew was one of 12 children, and... Being such a large family, every child needed to work in order to provide for the family. And so Matthew was a very hard worker. He would go to work and come back and drink. But instead of bringing his paycheck to his family to help support the family, he would stop by the pub and give his entire paycheck to the barkeep and say, hey, as long as I keep coming in and there's money, keep giving me drinks. And he would do that until he ran out of money and he'd hope by that time it would be his next paycheck and he'd do the same thing over again. But oftentimes he would run out of money and he would need to borrow some from his friends or have them buy him drinks and if that didn't work he'd in fact sell his the shirt off his back, the shoes off his feet to people to get money to buy his drinks. He was that addicted to alcohol. And this went on for years and years, and, and Matthew struggled with trying to quit until probably in his mid to late 20s, he decided that he'd had enough. This was it. He knew that his life was not the way it should be, and he made a solemn vow that from then on he would never drink again. And he didn't. He stopped drinking. He devoted his life to God. He kept working. He didn't go out and preach on the corners, become a priest or a monk or anything like that. He just continued to be a hard worker. Uh, lived a life of penance and simplicity, daily mass, and he changed completely. This person, Matthew, is the venerable Matt Talbot, and he's one that we often turn to in times of need to, to ask for his intercession between him and God and us for our addictions, especially alcohol. Venerable Matt Talbot, look him up, a great, great uh, saint to be uh, admiring and asking for prayers. My question is this, is it easier to quit an addiction or to never start it? You've heard the phrase, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The journey in towards addiction begins with one drink. The journey towards addiction begins with one glance at pornography on the internet. The journey towards addiction begins with one time at the blackjack table. We don't just fall into addictions, they start slowly and build and build. And before you know it, we're entrapped by this sin, by this addiction. In today's Gospel, Jesus again is in the midst of the Sermon on the Mount. And today he says, you have heard it said, but I say. And this is very interesting because most of the other rabbis would say, well, this rabbi says this, and this rabbi says this, and we combine them together. But he teaches in authority. You have heard it said, but I say. You have heard it said, you shall not kill. But I say, you shouldn't even be angry. Not only that, you shouldn't even use harsh words or call your brother uh, so-and-so. And what Jesus is doing here is trying to help us avoid addiction. What he's doing is what's called building a hedge around the sin. So if we imagine the sin in the midst of the center of the circle, we don't want to go near that sin. We want to even avoid the near occasion of that sin. If our sin is alcoholism, we don't want to go near the drink. We don't want to go near the computer. We don't want to go near the casino. So in fact, we build a hedge around that sin, saying, I don't even want to drive by the casino. I don't even want to go to the bar anymore. I don't even want to have the computer in my room or anywhere near me. We build a hedge. We build this safety net around the sin so that we don't even get close to it. Because again, it's easier to never take that first drink or never take that first glance than it is to extract ourselves from the midst of that sin. So what is it in your life, what is it in my life, that we need to build hedges around? What is that sin that you're struggling with? What is it? Look deep into your heart. What is that sin that you are struggling with? Is it alcoholism? Do you need an accountability partner? Get one. Build the hedge. Do you need filtering software on your computer or need to move it to a place that's open and the whole family can see what you're looking at? Do it. Build the hedge. 
Is it you have a gambling addiction and you need to have the casino ban you for life? And I've heard of people doing this. Do it. Build the hedge. Whatever it is today, start building your hedge around that sin. Start getting further and further away from it. Another great thing, go to confession. If you remember in our act of contrition, we say that we want to avoid the near occasions of sin. Again, we're building a hedge. So today I want to encourage you to build. Build a hedge around whatever it is that you're struggling with. Pray for me. I'll pray for you that you are doing great at your hedge building. God bless you. This is James Hahn with Real Life Rosary and a daily meditation for real life.